It'll take Israeli bulldozers just a few hours to destroy a community that's been here for decades. Han al Akma school and its Bedouin community have exhausted all legal avenues to avoid demolition. We are talking about a location which is very important, significant for the Palestinian because it's connect the south and the north of Palestine and it's uh, considered to be the gate to Jerusalem. And for the Israelis, they're seeing it very strategical as well. They, uh, as well. they want to uh, uh, join the bulk of the settlement. We are talking about three uh, uh, surrounding the settlements, Ma'ale Adumim, Kfar Adumim and Mishor Adumim, in order to create the greatest Jerusalem according to the right-wing uh, government. Clearing out the Bedouin from here paves the way for Israel to expand illegal settlement construction deep into the occupied West Bank. And that makes the viability of a contiguous Palestinian state very difficult to achieve. The campaign to save the school and the community was supported by foreign governments, the European Union and other non-governmental organisations. Victory is not about stopping the demolition. It's about stopping the transfer. We're fighting against forced displacement, transfer and ethnic cleansing. The danger here is Khan al Ahmar is only the beginning of the ethnic cleansing of more than 225 Palestinian communities in the area of the West Bank under full Israeli control. The Supreme Court order is for the demolition of buildings, not the eviction of villagers. In theory, they could stay and build new makeshift homes but they too would probably be torn down by the military, setting off an endless cycle of construction and destruction. We're ready for such a scenario. It's going to be a tremendous psychological pressure on our children, women and elderly people. It's a heavy burden, but we're resilient. The Israeli government has set aside land near a former rubbish dump for the 180 Bedouin here, but they say they won't go, not least because there's no pasture for their sheep. They've been here for nearly 70 years after being forced from the Negev by the Israeli army. So here, they say, is where they intend to stay. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, in the occupied West Bank.